Okay, here's the timing chain, as promised. I'm gonna try to get out of the light. Check this out. That seems like a whole lot of play to me. Step on a quarter of an inch. <laughs> That's like a full inch worth of play. Uh, I don't know if that is the problem, but that is probably a problem. I don't know if you can see how this is really rough along the edge right here, too. I don't think the chain could stretch out and hit that. It's, it doesn't really stretch down. I can't really pull it away, but you can push it in. Um, it doesn't feel like it should be that loose to me, but maybe I'm crazy. What do you guys think? Like it doesn't, like I said, you can't pull it away, but you can push it in. So. I don't know. The weird thing to me still though, is that the sound, the clunking sound, definitely seemed to be coming from back here, near the bell housing here. Pull the light back. So here's the flex plate. Um, you know, there's the rear main bearing right there. Pardon me, I'm sure that's sideways. Um, yeah, like I've been saying in these other videos, man, everything is so tight. These pistons, um, excuse me, the connecting rods are super tight. You know, a little normal play back and forth, but um, even that thrust bearing, I thought that might really make sense. But man, I get a hold of this crank and nothing moves. I just, man, I can't even budge the thing forward and backwards, grabbing some of these counterweights and try to, nothing, I grab that pulley up in front, try to shake it, nothing, <sighs> just no play. So I must, may still try to take that, um, it's this one, the center main off, and try to get a look at those thrust bearings down inside of there. Uh, you know, there you can kind of see, I think, right down in there. Um, let's see if there's anywhere on that one, but some are nothing except for that darn thing. Just would that noise sound all the way back here? Doesn't make any sense to me. So anyway, I think I'm going to pull at least a couple of these um, connecting rod caps off, use the plastic gauge on them, and see. I definitely have to pull the rear bearing uh, main cap anyway because I gotta change the main rear main seal so I can plastic gauge that as well and probably this one but I have a feeling that the plastic gauge is gonna look okay just because everything is so stinking tight um, but I'm in here might as well do it right so all right thanks <laughs>